so this was motivated by a desire to inf uh, enforce a policy that prevents the use of six digit codes for MFA. Um, and specifically, if we detect a sign in that has any level of risk, uh, we want to maybe force the user to use a higher strength. I call this workflow high security. Let, let's call it higher security MFA compared with the six digit code. Um, and so what I do is I've configured this uh, because I have 40 plus tenants that are going to need this. Obviously, I don't want to log into each one. Um, where what we do is we get the existing authentication strengths to see if we've already done this before. Um, from there, then we take that collection. We just get those individual names um, because and the unfortunate thing is with all these tenants, each one does get um, each one does get a unique ID value. Uh, so we use a little list comprehension here to just pull the display name for the policy because that's really my only primary key that I can use. Um, and then we go through and we look to see if that policy already exists. Um, if we do have the, I just call it high security MFA. If it's already there, that's great. We've already done it. We don't want to do it again because Microsoft will let you have multiple authentication strengths with the same name. We just go to the end, we're done. Um, otherwise, we're going to create that authentication strength. This is actually a custom uh, Graph API request uh, just to the pop. Uh, my screen just went blank. Oh, there I am. Okay. Uh, my policies, authentication strength policies, we just make a post with some JSON just to give it a name, a description, and then the content there saying these are the things that we consider to be better, more secure. Obviously, our standard ones. Um, with our Windows Hello, the ones that are really like the non-fishable, but we also do allow for that Microsoft Authenticator push because we have the number matching enabled just to try to minimize the chance that someone gets past our initial conditional access policies, have one more, one more layer to get in the way there. Um, the next goal is then going to be, uh, I'm going to want to extend this so that we then uh, can apply this authentication strength uh, to the existing conditional access policies that I've already rolled out. Uh, the challenge again being that because those IDs are unique to each tenant, I do have to do it by name and I'm going to have to have some fuzzy logic in there uh, because the names may not be entirely consistent. They're, they're pretty consistent. There are some keys I can match on, but that's going to be my next step is then to automatically not just deploy this authentication strength, but also automatically attach it to the appropriate conditional access policies. Love it. Yeah, this is really nice and so simple and so small, but super powerful. It saves time, yeah, because otherwise I'd spend, you know, going through getting the, you know, getting the password, getting, you know, get going through the multi-factor. I'd probably spend five minutes on each tenant times 40 tenants. That's a lot of time saved if I can. And what I did is I made a corresponding form where I can just drop down on the form and say apply it. As we're getting ready to roll it out, just drop down the tenant name, click apply and a minute later, that authentication strength is present in the tenant. 